Hey YouTube, uh, we're back with another rare piece of gear. Um, I'm actually remaking this review because I realized I recorded it sideways and it displayed horribly on the screen for an actual computer and I figured no one should be subjected to that so I'm redoing it here. Uh, this is the Terra Humera pack made by Hill People Gear. They're uh, a small group right out of uh, Colorado. Kind of They've been making small stuff for a long time, and I actually just stumbled onto this stuff. But I saw someone mention their stuff in a forum post, and I figured I'd go check it out, and now I'm here with one. Uh, they make generally high-end gear. Um, this pack retails for $125 plus shipping, uh, so it's definitely not the cheapest pack for something of this size because it's about 750 cubic inches, I believe. Uh, but it is made out of real high stuff. This is made out of... 500 Cordura YKK zippers. The buckles are real heavy duty things. They're not cheap buckles that tend to snap. They're, they're very stiff. Um, everything about this pack is very well put together. The stitching is all really, really solid. Uh, everything is consistent. There's no weird stuff going on or something like that. Um, this is their symbol for those of you not familiar with Hill People gear. It'll focus, kind of, maybe. All right, close enough. Uh, this was originally supposed to just be a hydration carrier, and it kind of went into a small carry pack. Uh, it, on top of it being a small carry pack, it also has a uh, detachable harness here that can be removed, so you can strap it to a larger pack for camping or something like that. These compression straps are great if you want to compress the pack down, uh, but they can also be used to lash on larger items, which give it a lot of versatility. It also comes with this budgie one here for strapping something to the bottom of it. Overall, this harness is probably the most comfortable harness I have ever worn. I've worn this pack and actually just forgot that it's on me while I've been cruising around with it. It's that comfortable. It's awesome. As I said before, this was originally supposed to be a hydration carrier. Um, don't mind the Sub 2000 in here. Just was checking to see if it would actually fit because I was curious. It has a loop so you can attach it in and hang a hydration carrier. It doesn't have a separate flap for the hydration carrier if you have it. It's just supposed to come out of here, which is okay, I guess. I, not my favorite here. Uh, the one thing I would complain about this pack, as you can see here, there is no grommet for drainage. And that's kind of silly because if your hydration carrier is leaking, you'll probably find out way down the road when things really suck and you find out you no longer have any water. Not so great. Um, it's got a carry handle so you can grab it here. It's not very big. Um, I'm generally not a big guy. I'm only 5'10 and as you can see, I have to wiggle my hands through there. So if you're trying to, if you're looking for like a grab style handle, it's not going to fit that bill. It is a very versatile pack. They even advertise that you can go hunting with it um, because it has a one other pouch right here that runs down the whole length of the pack. Problem with this though is they say, oh, you know, you could put like a 30-30 in there or something like that. I don't know what kind of 30-30 they're suggesting you use because I have a lever action 30-30, not even close. It sticks, like over 50% of it sticks out of the thing. It's not a good fit. I tried even putting this sub 2000 in there didn't really work, stuck out, and it's kind of lumpy against the back. Didn't work it out. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. If you're trying to use it to hold a rifle as you move, I don't think it's a great pack for that, and I think there are better options. You'd be better off trying to lash it with the compression straps would be a far better option for carrying the rifle versus that pouch. However, that pouch is great for a tablet because this is your standard transformer 10-inch tablet. Let me just flip the back on And as you can see, it fits really, really well without a lot of, you know, side to side play in it. So it would work well. And it's definitely wide enough that if you had a keyboard with this, which I do not with me, um, it would work really well. This pack also has lots of attachment points. You can see all over the bag, which is great. If you want to add more compression straps, it's got a couple up here and you know more down here. So if you want to add more compression straps to strap more junk to it or whatever the heck you're trying to do, this pack is very versatile in terms of being having stuff strapped to it or strapping it to a larger pack. I mean, so if you're, you know, a day hiker but you want something you can lash on to like, you know, a 2-day or 3-day pack just to have a little extra space, this pack would be great for that. It's a very slim profile, so it doesn't expand out to either side and cut straight back. 
which makes it and all of the the widest section is at the base so what's going to happen is, is it stands really well against you it's really comfortable uh, the harness also has this clip here i'm not sure what it's for it's probably for something more camping oriented and for those of you seeing my video i'm not terribly knowledgeable in that area so i'm not positive what that's for uh, but from a tactical standpoint, it's as well made as any kind of high-end tactical gear, but it's really light because it's only about just over a pound. Um, it's very versatile. It has the advantage of being durable like a tactical pack, but it doesn't, you know, you could walk around hiking like this and no one's going to give you really weird looks for something like this because it is oriented around that. Or if you go on vacation and you want a day pack to carry around, it's going to be really comfortable carrying some water and stuff like that. It's going to be great. Uh, little things to note about the pack is if you notice here, these are not bungee oriented. Uh, the reason why is they made it this way because they build their packs supposedly to last a really long time and be field repairable. Uh, so they felt it would be better to have a solid thing that just crams in and intrudes on the inner space of the pack because uh, they felt that the bungee would wear out and that's not something that they want because they build high end packs that are designed to last a long time versus something that you know you have to replace in a couple years, which I think is a great mindset. Um, overall, I've been really impressed with this pack so far. I trekked around with it for probably about six hours so far, and uh, it's it's been running really great. Uh, the only small issue I had is if I can find it here, is you can kind of see it right there. Is I started getting some fraying uh, right there, but I think that's because I hit a branch or something like that because it's. It's hard to tell, but it's not actually in the seam. It's the Cordura itself that fray. And I don't know if that was there. It might have been. I'm not entirely sure. Um, other than that, the pack is great. I would have made the carry handle a little bigger on it. Um, and I would have added a grommet. But those two little nitpick, nitpick things aside, this is an amazing pack. And it is definitely something that I would recommend if you're looking for a day pack to go hiking with. Uh, or something like that. It's obviously not, you know, with its bigger shoulder straps, it's not, you know, something, if you wear it around town, probably going to get some weird looks with it. Um, but for hiking, camping, hunting mix, it, it's a great pack with a lot of versatility. Um, so if that's the kind of stuff that you're looking for, this would be a great pack for that. Uh, I'd say that's about it for this one. If you guys have any questions, post them up and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And uh, until next time when I review something else ridiculous. All right. See you guys.